Hello everybody and welcome back to me to show you how you can um, install a Forge 1.8.9 Yeah, um, so you know Forge for Minecraft 1.8.9. Let's go So the first thing you want to think of is have I had a version of Forge before you know um, or basically do you have Java installed on your current device? If you don't think you do or you don't, then you want to download it through this link right over here, which is going to be in the description below. Um, and this Java platform is basically just, you know, going to allow you to run Forge. And it's also going to allow you to run many other things um, needed for Minecraft modding in general as well. So it's always going to be useful to have if you do not. Uh, you know, download this, then you won't be able to install Forge, not 1.8.9, and also not any other version. So that's pretty important. Once you've gotten all that installed, which honestly isn't too hard, you just download it, then you click on it, then it installs itself. You're all fine. You want to go to the second link in the description, which is the actual download for Forge um, 1.8.9. There's a latest version, and there's a recommended version. In this case, as you can see, they are both the exact same version. So you can uh, literally download either. Um, you want to click on that over there, and that's going to bring you to the download. Now, obviously, Forge also needs to make money, so they'll bring you to this bit of an ad page for creating um, a Forge server. Anyways, after five seconds, you can skip that and then the download will automatically start as you can see in the bottom left of my screen. Anyways, right now over in your downloads, which is where I recommend you to go because that's probably where Forge is currently for you. Um, this is the one we want. It's Forge for 1.8.9 and it's the installer. Yeah, you can see all that. Anyways, you just want to double click on this and then you'll get this mod system installer page up here. This is the install location right here. You can select something if you want, but I like to, I just like to keep it at the default. Um, you want you want to make sure that you have install client selected. These two we don't need those. Um, of course you can do them, but that's not what this tutorial is about. Anyways, you can just click on OK, and then like half a second later, um, it's going to tell you that they've successfully installed the client profile Forge for version Forge 1.8.9 uh, into the launcher, which is exactly what we want. So we can press on OK there, and then you'll see that this log file is going to um, appear here. You can, this is just basically um, the download log, you know everything that happened yeah you can delete that you don't need that anyways you can just basically click everything away we don't need that anymore something we do now need is the minecraft launcher because we have forge for minecraft 1.8.9 you can just open up the minecraft launcher and then as you can see over here we got forge you can see that right here 1.8.9-forge 1.8.9 then whatever the version was and then 1.8.9 again um, if you don't see this right over here, then there's one important thing I should have probably said earlier. Sorry about that. Um, if you have an other version of Forge installed, maybe current Minecraft version, maybe 1.12.2, maybe I don't even know what version. Um, yeah, you're going to need to get rid of that. So you want to press on the three dots and then press on delete right over here. That's what you want. And then once you have deleted that version of Forge, you can then install Forge and you'll have it for whatever the current version is. Yeah, in this case, I'm showing you how to install it for 1.8.9, so 1.8.9, right? Anyways, then of course, we obviously just want to press play because that's what we want to do, right? Um, and then Forge is going to load up. Yeah, one day that nine should all be fine, okay? As you can see, we've now got loaded up a Minecraft Forge one eight nine. Um this is it. Here's the this button to the mods manager. 
and stuff like that yeah um now there is also a possibility or don't mind these mods here um they have something to do with the possibility I was talking about. Yeah, so there is a possibility that you got an error that a specific mod wants to run for 1.12.2. And basically, what you need to do is, well, not necessarily 1.12.2, maybe 1.19.4, 1.19.3, 1.19, 1.16.5, etc. You might have gotten an error that a specific mod wants to run. And your only option was exiting out of Minecraft, yeah? If you got uh, that error, what you want to do is you just want to press on Windows and R at the same time and then type in percent app data and then percent just like this. Then you should go over to this folder here. Want to enter dot Minecraft and then mods. Yeah, that's where you want to be. In my case, this folder is empty, but if you got an error like that, then there's a chance that you know you've already had Forge before and you had your mods in this folder and basically what you want to do is all the mods that aren't for your current version of forge you just want to select all those and take them out as you can see I have done here for the sake of this tutorial yeah and then once you're going to reinstall um, maybe forge 1.12.2 which is what these mods are for um, once you've reinstalled that then you can just put all these back in the folder and you'll be able to run it yeah if you're having that error then I hope that helped you out but um, for right now uh, that's it I don't really have much more to show or tell you guys so thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one also of course if you have any questions feel free to leave those down in the comments below but bye bye